Hello and welcome to Dead Cells. I'm streaming this live over on twitch.tv slash nerdsnarf right now. So if you guys hear weird um, text speech stuff, it's because of that. Okay, let's change our outfit into the Flawless Concierge. And then, not like I'm gonna be able to get that stuff, so... We'll get Blood Drinker, and then we'll really try and leverage uh, bleeding on enemies. So... Huh. Let's go with this. I'm gonna go take that, we'll take this, and we'll take the Flask and Light Speed. Hit three times. Not doing amazing. Okay, so I guess we're going full survival. As I need to go to just up this path. It's if you kill too quickly and all right, so kill two enemies quickly with this weapon to activate critical hits. So not something super useful in like boss fights. Did just get our um, kill streak. A better light speed, sure. And then. Can we find a better weapon? Ah, Flawless would be really good, actually. Yeah, I think we're gonna try and go for Flawless. So that means I need about 2,000 more gold. Um, and the best way to do that would probably be to come down here. There's got to be more enemies around, right? Of course, maybe I just... Don't worry about buying it. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to, to afford it. I don't think there's nearly enough enemies to get that much. So we'll go um forward without um buying it. It's fine. Okay. All right, we missed the time door, but we got the kill streak door, so at least that's that's good. There's toothpick. You know what? I should try my best to use toothpick. See how it really works. So, all right. So it's a long, long wind up for toothpick, and then the base damage is not super amazing either, by any means.
an early bank miss out on the sewers you know what yeah let's let's try for the bank worst thing that happens is i die and then we just do a double today all right That's the green door. Blue. Red. All right, so we'll go to the bottom floor, try out this area first. Yep, 15 enemies, it's fine. I was looking at the wrong enemy. I was looking at the wrong enemy there. No matter. Died with so little money in my pockets that I don't even have the full. Jeez. All right, so now let's go for the bone because it's been a while since we've done bones. That was a nice little combo. Unfortunately, we lost it. Okay, that's the sewers. We don't want to go there yet. The bone is just so good. The bone really is where the zone's at. Motherfuck. Not like I'm gonna be able to challenge the uh, kill streak room anyway. Oh, two extra jumps in the air. Yeah, we'll do that. Because that will help us um, get through this without taking as much damage, hopefully. that flawlessly. Alright, so there is a oiled sword down there. Fine. I knew I wasn't gonna get the kill streak room anyway. Just a lot of damage for boss cell three. Attacking after a parry. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll get the upgraded. And then we'll just go to the promenade. We'll go the easy route. The the promenade will be the, my easy route.
And we still got a door. Got the time door. Which will take the cluster grenade. And that'll be it. Don't need to upgrade any of that stuff. We will get armadillo pack. And then look for a weapon, I guess. And just right away into the... Uh, not quite having enough power to take care of enemies, which is never a good feeling. Let's do a shop. We got a weapon down there before we can really use armadillo pack to its fullest extent. Good board. There we go. Burn the ground which we walk on. Now that is a, oh, I thought I was out of there. All right, had to use our heal. Okay. Hmm. Giant comb. That would do a lot more damage, but it's, yeah, it's a little too technical having to try and get them in the air first. So let's see what this shop has to offer us. Twin daggers would be really good, actually. So yeah, we'll take twin daggers, put that in my backpack. And then be poor for the rest of this level. For the season three stuff, I'm actually real excited about what we're, um, what's on the table. I've nearly got all of the superstars made. Um, about the only thing that I've got is deciding on the last superstar that needs, um, to go there. Um, all of the audience suggestions have been made, so those are implemented to their fullest. So that will be a real good time for getting those um, in the ring fighting with each other. I just have to now decide between the last superstar that I'm going to make, because I have, I've got several games that I was thinking of putting on um and the games that i was going to choose would be either bingle bingle um a roulette kind of bellatro game but it's in early access so i'm a little wary about that um ravens no i i have ravens watch on there that was one of my early picks um why am i looking at a shop i can't afford the shop um of the last games, it would be either... It would be up to... Hades, Bingle Bingle, Cryptarch, or Dungeons 
degenerates and gamblers. So, if any of those games sound good to you, that you want to see it have a chance at getting through the um, the gauntlet that is going to be the um, Royal Rumble, as well as in, um, if it doesn't win in there, give it a chance in the um, ladder match. Let me know which ones you all would be most interested in seeing for the next season. I would think that Hades would probably be the most um, friendly to the format, simply because it is a very, so quite what I would call a traditional roguelike. But I have heard, I have seen a lot of people in the comments say that they're not interested in seeing someone else play Hades. So it's kind of that weird thing. It's, it's, it's an indie darling kind of game, but, um, it's also not something that people necessarily want to watch other people play. So. To say that I'm getting relatively mixed signals from, um, oh my god, would uh, be very accurate. Okay, we took one hit there. That's fine. There's to that. There's one more scroll power up there. All right, we're going to go get the teleporter to prison depths taken care of. his head. I don't think I take that. Yeah, I think we take we go somewhere else. Alright. Risen Depths is right there. It's Cursed, which is always a fun, good time. We might unlock some additional blueprints. to a guardian scroll which would be kind of good to get I've been taking a lot of hit from it characters from bad guys call from that give me one moment guys so we can go down to prison depths do this real quick And Starved Conjunctivist Outfit. Ooh. Let me just unlock that right now. I don't see myself getting very far 
hilariously enough in this I don't see myself really doing too much so I don't think I'm gonna necessarily try and save the um, the cells I collect until um, until the uh, boss forward I think it's would be better to use them Let me see. Yeah, we'll take light speed. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. A lot of distraction going on today. Oh, shit. Whoa! Gee. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give it one more run. One more run. And we just... You know what? I just unlocked that outfit. Starved Conjunctivist. We'll, we'll swap out outfits. Maybe the gold is throwing me off. Maybe the, the flawless gold is what's really throwing me off. Um, Yeah, Starved Conjunctivist outfits. Maybe the tentacles will do better. Here. There we go. Uh, you know what? Let's try the Medusa's head. Medusa's head is working. And it, it's working better than I would give it any credit for. Yeah. Okay. The... I... I was expecting the Medusa's head to really be a, uh, a downfall for me. Um, just with the way that it controls and the way that you are really supposed to be using it, but it's actually really good, but I can't give the Bible up. No, nope. we're taking the Bible. We're, we're doing a Bible. Crossbow-o-matic. Where else do we want to go? I guess we're going back to the promenade. Get a Bible. If the second attack of the weapon hits a target, throws a projectile on a rotary traje trajectory. Why is that such a hard word for me to say? Trajectory. Okay. We'll take an early owl. And with the owl, we'll go to the promenade. I was thinking maybe swapping it up, maybe doing the uh, the uh, garden, but we'll just do the, the promenade. Two seconds behind. Damn. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, we'll 
take that. And then... Now I'll take this here and put that in my backpack. Yeah. Owl, as nice as it is, it's kind of screwing with uh, me trying to get the uh, the rotary objects moving. It is unfortunately killing things too quickly for me. But that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. It's just it's gonna take a little. Well, I will get a leg hugger as well. Why not? That's just to a shop. You know, instead of scraping all of the, um, that the islands have to give us, why don't I try and play correctly into the areas, but... Um, if I come to an exit, I take the exit. So basically the prison depths is where I'm going straight away. That shouldn't backfire on me without taking as many, um, scrolls, right? Holy shit. I think we gotta take... Yeah, we'll take, um, wait, is he? Is he, like, holding himself when he runs? I thought he did the, the ninja run. Is it because I'm at low health? That he was holding himself like that? It looked like he was holding himself, didn't it? Crazy. Okay, we... The baseball bat's way too good to not take. You're also cursed. Duh. Ah, oh, this is not a good night for me. Uh, I think three is my uh, limit tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content below. Um, I will see you guys later. On the 5th, we'll be holding the, the Royal Rumble and the ladder match. Be sure to be there. And uh, let me know below if you have any opinions about what games you want to see. And I uh, hope I see you guys there at the uh, Royal Rumble on the 5th. Sometime around 6 or 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.